Uh, Greg, so many unbelievable accomplishments. Uh, what are you most proud of? Uh, just being able to play, I think, for as long as I, was, I did. You know, I think uh, being able to put on a uniform for 20 years is pretty special. You know, there, I mean, over that time, there's so many great memories that it's hard to pick one. But uh, uh, it seems like there's a memory in every city that, that we go to. How did you prepare for a game? How did you work to, to face hitters? And, and what, what was your routine before a game to get ready to pitch? Well, you know, I just went uh, mostly on memory. You know, I think, uh, you know, you face a lot of guys enough. Like, you know, if we were facing the Mets, you know, you could just look at the players out there and, and, and you realize there were certain pitches that they hit and there were certain pitches that they didn't. And uh, uh, you just try to throw the ones that you didn't think they were going to hit. You know, it was that simple, you know. And, and it certainly worked, as Nate McClouth will bat here. Did you ever set a guy up? Would you ever, in a certain situation, that being said, allow a guy maybe a pitch that he could handle to maybe come back another time and, and you know, get him get him out with a different pitch, kind of a setup type? As far as maybe face the guy earlier in the year, maybe even face him in the next year? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, I think you always have to go to a hitter's strength so you can keep his weaknesses. And, uh, you know, there's a fine line when, you, you know, you have to pick your spots to do that. And, uh uh, sometimes it worked, you know, I think before video it worked a lot more, you know, now that there's so much video in baseball, especially like the last 10 years, you know, the hitters watching the same video you are. And I think when I first started, it really didn't happen that way. I think the hitters relied mostly on their memory. And I thought they usually remembered the good things over the bad things. That's interesting. Uh, how about being a, a part of this tremendous threesome, you know, with Glavin and Smoltz? What was that like? It was awesome. You know, we had a good time. You know, we, we, we won a lot of games together. And uh, we played a lot of golf together. We kind of hung out off the field as well as enjoyed each other's success on the field. And, uh, you know, when you spend 10 years with the same three guys, you're going to have a lot of good memories. So, Greg, I really appreciate the time. Congratulations. You certainly deserve it, okay? All thank you. The great Greg Maddox says the Braves go down in order there. We'll be back from Turner Field coming up.